And furthermore, for the IGES, uh, the white paper, uh, the green government in Asia-Pacific uh, that was uh, uh, launched, as well as the UNEP's GO5 discussion uh, that were held as lunch sessions. The we had, were able uh, to hold the lunch sessions with these themes as well. And as you have just uh, seen, from the local universities in Kanaba Prefecture, we have asked uh, participation uh, for uh, the young people to hold the poster session. And furthermore, before the ISAP, uh, with the IGS and Terry uh, co-sponsoring uh, Japan-India, uh, the potential for the four a technological cooperation for sustainable development, as well as uh, we had international workshop focusing upon uh, the governance and communication on decontamination in Fukushima. We had uh, uh, more than 1,000 participants from uh, 24 other countries uh, for all these meetings. I would like to thank all of you for the full uh, participation and uh, the bearing with us for long hours. We were able to see very rich discussion on many different themes. I myself uh, was not able uh, to attend all the meetings, but uh, in my limited uh, way, uh, as far as uh, my impression as being participated in some of the meetings, let me share with you some of my comments. At the ISAP, as was seen in the Rio Plus at the 20, it was not that, that we uh, we are able to see agreement because on an intergovernmental basis, it is very difficult to come to agreement. But on the other hand, having said so, looking at uh, the specific and concrete actions on the ground, uh, we were able to witness the many new approaches and activities, especially the word local, or the was uh, mentioned uh, uh, repeatedly. It is easy to say uh, to emphasize actions on the ground, but how uh, to operationalize and try to see an effective move forward. Uh, this is something important but difficult to do. So local actions need to be facilitated. It would be the municipalities, the local governments, as well as uh, the industry, as well as uh, the local community, the NGOs, the civil society organizations, uh, those uh, actors who would be responsible uh, to bring about local actions. But uh, in order to help and facilitate uh, the local actions by the actors. We need uh, to create enabling environment, and this is something important. And uh, this is where uh, the national government uh, can and should play an important role. So in this regard, for example, in terms of uh, economic environment, an enabling environment should be provided, and also access to information, as well as to participate in uh, the decision making, as well as the participating uh, in the, the legal procedures to try to, to develop the necessary institutions uh, to be built. And that is also the role to be played by the government. To do something positive to the environment means it is quite rewarding, because reward is another term um, mentioned repeatedly. We need to see a solid move forward, so try to create enabling environment is once again very important. Another thing, another role, important role to be played by the national government is, as Mr. Chun, uh, Dr. Chun has said, mentioned, there is an international perspective as well. For example, in the United Nations system, uh, the bet for the better decision making to be done, we need to see a paradigm shift and to decide on the paradigm and also to implement the new paradigm. This is uh, another area of where the national governments can play an important role. And that is uh, the being well amply demonstrated by the new government of uh, the uh, Republic of Korea. And also for the nuclear energy, how to move away from the nuclear energy. I believe there has been significant debate on this topic as well. Many difficult uh, uh, the challenges faced by our society, especially for the affected people in the Fukushima prefecture. Decontamination, remediation activities are important, but also how to look at the 
future that the people are not able to see any vision for themselves for the future. And that is the problem. A face in the future uh, is uh, the phrase often heard as well. So all sorts of different uh, problems that are related. One question is energy. What to do with the energy? This is also an important question. And furthermore, uh, the examples from Germany were also introduced. In Germany, uh, there has been twists and turns in their debate on the nuclear energy, but now they have arrived at the uh, so social consensus that, that uh, nuclear power will be phased out. Uh, but uh, it took a long time after the Chernobyl incident, as was amply uh, explained by Dr. Tepfer as well as the Professor Shiraz. With what kind of approach and for whom? How should we try to decide on a timeline for the future of energy? And that is exactly the debate ongoing in Japan. Uh, the, the new vision for energy and the environment is now being hotly debated in this country. And for all these questions, we need to think through how will we be able to build a societal consensus? We need to exert further efforts. I just uh, have uh, recently published a report on this very topic. But uh, we are thinking in a very long term, aiming for the year 2050. But on the other hand, 2030 then 2020, those are the timelines uh, for the debate, uh, which we now see in Japan. So perhaps uh, we should also uh, adopt the more near term the challenges. So even though we are faced with uh, some technical questions, but we need to think about the more of a higher the level of the, uh, the questions. What to do with the society as a whole and how to build the trust and confidence amongst ourselves. This is also important, especially the trust of people vis-a-vis -vis the government. This is something of a very important aspect. For the government to be able to lead the society and also to administer the policy for all the, the whole nation. And how can the people, the citizens, be able to place trust and confidence on the government. The credibility of the government is also a very important uh, the issue. In my own modest way, I have tried to summarize all the discussions we have seen at the ISAP 2012. Now, how the discussion of the ISAP 2012 uh, are to be uh, followed through? Uh, there are many views, perhaps. Uh, we have asked many people to participate. We have exerted cost uh, and uh, uh, the efforts and uh, energy. We are not uh, trying to make ISAP just a talk show for those people who have participated in the form of uh, the ISAP. ISAP uh, have been trying to forge uh, and launch the new uh, report as well as new research and new studies and new networks and also try the, to present opportunities to build new partnerships. I believe uh, IGES and ISAP have been playing a very important role. This is the fourth round that we have the ISAP, but uh, as we have gone year by year, uh, we uh, will be able to further to build uh, the system uh, uh, the further, and we have been able to enhance uh, the level of uh, the ISAP. And in order uh, to uh, create uh, the uh, resilient uh, uh, the uh, society in Asia. This is indeed a very a grand effort uh, that needs to be exerted. We need a long time. It is not that just one country or one institution or one business will be able to achieve that. All the different entities uh, that need to work together closely in the long term. With uh, the long term partnership, uh, this would become possible. So I just, with such a perception, we would like to further enhance and strengthen ISAP uh, so that we will be able uh, to contribute uh, in building a diverse partnership uh, to uh, be able to contribute the building of a sustainable economy and society. We hope to be able to work as a facilitator. Lastly, but not least, we were able uh, to uh, have a very good discussion, intensive discussion for the past two days. I would like to thank all of you who have participated, and I would like to also solicit your further support and cooperation in the future. With this, I would like uh, to end at ISAP 2012 under the theme of steering towards a sustainable and resilient future beyond Rio Plus 20. Thank you very much once again. This concludes 
the program of ISAP 2012 that has been ongoing since yesterday. We thank you very much for your participation despite your busy schedule.